police car pulls up in front and a cop comes to the front door and knocks and says he's looking for me. So they, right there, they, you know, they took me out the door, they put my hands against the um, car. It was a real cop car, it was a real policeman, and there were real neighbors in the street who didn't know that I was, uh, this was an uh, uh, experiment. In 1971, Philip Zimbardo began an experiment in the basement of Stanford University. Zimbardo gathered 24 male college students and randomly assigned them either prisoner or guard. This began the infamous Stanford prison experiment. The students assigned prisoners who were then arrested on the street and brought to Stanford County Jail. This experiment along with others highlights the inhumanity of humans when they receive power. Experiments such as the aforementioned Stanford prison experiment and the Milgram experiment as well as Lord of the Flies show the effect of power. The Stanford prison experiment demonstrated how engrossing power is and how hurtful it can be. As well, the Milgram experiment exposed how easily persuaded people with power are. Lastly, Lord of the Flies, in its abundance of horrible events, shows how corrosive and demoralizing power is to people. Power corrupts and absconds people's humanity. The corruption of the guards in the Stanford prison experiment went by unnoticed by the guards themselves. Their immersion in power prevented them from even noticing what they were doing was wrong. Dr. Zimbardo admits, we gave them the symbols of power, handcuffs, silver reflecting sunglasses. These made the guards even more powerful and influential over the prisoners. The acts of the guards got more and more radical, leading to the mental breakdown of several of the prisoners. As the power that the guards had over the prisoners greatened, the guards' actions became more inhuman. The guards didn't recognize the weight of their actions and were blinded by power, irreversibly harming innocent people. On a similar note, the Milgram experiment promoted people to give what would have been deadly electrical shocks. Volunteers named teachers and actors named students participated in the experiment. The teachers asking questions and giving increasing electrical shocks with wrong answers. Despite students starting to complain and scream that the shocks were hurting them, a majority of the teachers would continue delivering the shocks. Stanley Milgram even said himself, control the manner in which a man interprets interprets his world, and you have gone a long way towards controlling his behavior. Meaning, as the teachers felt power over the students, they were more easily persuaded to hurt them. The security of power causes people to want to keep said power from becoming easily pushed into unhuman acts. Similarly, when Jack came into power in Lord of the Flies, he does very nasty things. His corruption comes from his involvement with power. As Jack becomes more corrupt, his face becomes more covered with a mask of paint. Even when he leaves the group, he states, I don't want to play with you anymore. Power has caused this boy to do inhuman things, and being the small child he is, he copes with being on the island through power and denial. He even uses the face paint like a mask, like the guards in the Stanford prison experiment. They were reflective glasses. Power drove Jack to do these insane things, hiding behind a mask of paint and his own childishness. The power given to Jack, the guards, and the teachers corrupted their actions to cruelty. The guards of the Stanford prison experiment were blinded by the power they received and consequently hurt their prisoners. During the Milford experiment, the people in a position of power were easily prompted to deliver deadly levels of shock. As well, Jack is pushed to do murderous things because of the power that has corrupted him. The influence power has on people is decidedly negative as it corrupts them to the point of demoralization.